extended cut, Blu-ray, $8 at Walmart, with a DVD edition too, that's not extended cut. Anyway, to Robert Bowling, you have the ability right now to make FPS history. You have that ability right now to make FPS history right now. I mean, real quick, infection? That's exactly what it reminds me of, being infected with a deadly disease. Boring as game type. I don't know what genius thought of that game, but it is boring. It is not even remotely fun. But anyway, kill confirm, which we should call right now, padding your stats confirm, because that's what it is. People will hide shoot somebody, wait for someone to go collect the tag, shoot them again, and you'll see people go 30 and 4 with 1,200 points in that game, while I consistently go 22 and 20 with 3,800 points. The bottom line is, you have the ability right now to make FPS history right now, to make a game that is truly uncampable and is truly played by people that want to play the goddamn objective. And I'm going to tell you why. Oh, I know I made a video about this the other day, but it went on. It's falling on deaf ears. I feel if we take this video, everybody tweets it to Robert Bowen so he can see, look, so he can see what I'm talking about. I got a lean like Eiffel Tower. Fuck! I didn't line the camera. But anyway, what you need to do in Kill Confirmed is, and this will solve all the problems, right? Because right now, padding your stats confirmed is a camp fest. It's a 25 to 25 time limit game. I'm telling you right now, it's nothing but camp. But you have the ability to stop that. To make FPS history right now with the first uncampable game in FPS history. If I want to be a camping little bitch and don't want to play the game the way it's meant to be played by collecting the tags and want to sit back in the corner like a little bitch and shoot people that run around and then shoot somebody else that wants to grab the tag after I killed them and go 30 and 4, if I want to play that way, I get 30 kills that way and I have 4 deaths because someone like me comes over there and kills me while I'm camping. My final score, if I don't collect my tags, will be 0-4. Now, if the teammates on my team, even though I'm camping, collect the tags, we still get the point. You see what I'm saying? That will prevent these camping little bitches from sitting in the corner and not playing the goddamn objective like it's meant to be played. And that will also... I know people are going to say, well, you're not going to get credit for points. That will also make people that want to play the objective be the only ones in the lobby that play that game. Because someone that's going to camp will be pissed off when they don't get all the kills. They have the little tags they want. So they won't even go to that lobby no more. They'll go back to Team Deathmatch where it's camper friendly. Listen, it's a very simple solution. That's all you need to do if you could just change it in your next patch to make it them rules. Because right now the game's unplayable. And it is the only mode presently that I can actually play in that game. If you do that, it will be the best team-based objective game ever. Because Kill Confirms is a great game when played by people like myself that just go around playing the objective. But when you get these little guinea goats that want to sit in the corner, that don't want to play the game the proper way, they want to camp and pad their stats because they want to look at the, oh, look at my KD for the week, it's 255, what's yours? I'm proud to tell you my KD is 085 in the game. I don't care. But I do collect me the tags the way it's meant to be played. And that's what you set out to do in this game. You made one fatal flaw in it, though. The rules that I apply to your game now should be the rules that we follow from now on. Revise it one more time so people understand. If I kill somebody and I don't collect the tags, I don't get the kill for it. But if my teammates collect the tags, we still get the team kill for it. So it counts. So in other words, if I want to camp all game long, my final score maybe I might get 30 kills in the game. But if I ain't collect no tags, if maybe if I collect two tags out of 30, I'll go two and seven instead of 30 and seven. You see what I'm saying? That will prevent these guinea goats that want to come out here and pad their stats up from getting in the lobby. So everybody, if you can, tweet this to Robert Bowen. And Robert Bowen, if you will just acknowledge it and say you can do it, or maybe you guys can't do it. If you can't do it, that's fine. But if you could actually do it in your playlist, it would make this game the most biblical game in the history of FPS because it would be uncampable. And it would be the funnest game type. I love playing that game, but I can't stand playing it the wrong way. It would make it the funnest game to play. In fact, I believe it would make it the only game that people would play in that playlist. They would love it. I mean, in fact, it, come on, man. I mean, who thought of that?
A seven-year-old or something? I mean, I don't understand it. It makes me feel like I'm infected with a deadly virus that I will die about, that I will die from eventually. I don't like it. Kill confirms why I play your game. And right now, it's pad your stats confirmed. So if you could any way correct this, it'd be great. If you can't, if you could just say, we, we, there's nothing we can do about it, we can't do that, we don't have the capabilities at this juncture, it can't be done, then I accept that also. But I mean, if it can be done, it would be great. That's all I ask. After all, I'm a COD vet. I tried Battlefield, I would say in a bad game, but it's just not, it doesn't hold my interest like this game. And Black Ops at this juncture is unplayable for me because when I go to shoot my gun, it's like this. Because for some reason, Treyarch decided to make Infinity, or they decided to put Ghost Pro in. And for some reason, they didn't implement it the correct way because when you go to aim on someone's Ghost Pro, your gun goes like this and it starts forcing itself off, wavering. Yeah, like a windshield wiper, side by side, whatever. So, if we can do this, this game will truly be the most innovative game play game uh, mode in an FPS. I got to lean like now. I've been leaning like the Eiffel Tower for the last two minutes and thirteen seconds of this video. I'm just surmising it's two thirteen because I don't have a time or anything like that. But if I'm correct with that two thirteen, I want a goddamn prize, and the prize would be to make the game play the way I want it to be played.